I would certainly say that a major inspiration for writing The Explorer's Code was the American painter William Bradford and his famous work from 1874, The Panther Among the Icebergs of Melville Bay. A painting by William Bradford is like stepping back in time to the high Arctic, standing on the ice flows, the glorious light of the snow-covered landscape all around. First, you are struck by the dramatic beauty, the fantastic twilight sky painted to depict the ending of polar day. Then, your eye begins to pick up detail, and there are all the signals of disaster, the burning ship, men frantically working to unload cargo onto the ice. Bradford understood the danger and the mystery of the Arctic, the towering icebergs, the pearlescent greens of the sea ice, and the beautiful wildlife, the seals and bears. One of the great collections of Bradford paintings is in Massachusetts at the New Bedford Whaling Museum. They also have a copy of the extremely rare Bradford Folio, a bound collection of expedition photos and field notes entitled The Arctic Regions, Published in England in 1873, the height of the Victorian era, it was a limited edition, meant to be displayed as a showpiece in a private library. Every detail of the folio conveys the utter romance of exploration, the icicles, the polar bears, the beautiful filigree on the cover. Because it is so rare and fragile, in the Explorer's Code, I describe the way they have to turn the pages, wearing white gloves, to keep the oils of their fingers away from the delicate paper. The actual Bradford paintings were done later in the studio after the expedition. So in reporting terms, these historic photos are the primary source of information about the expedition. I'd have to say that William Bradford is a major muse for me in writing The Explorer's Code, and part of his vision is really what inspires me to go to the Arctic.